in the future, okay? And that's on average. So we can say that, okay, implied volatility, which is sitting right here at the 56th percentile, is over that 50th percentile that we use, and therefore becomes relatively high implied volatility. So if we're directionally bearish on the stock, we think the stock might continue lower, and implied volatility is relatively high, now we have the two ingredients that we need to go back to the strategy guide and choose the different strategies that we want to, to select from. So we're not gonna choose the bullish section, so we're gonna keep scrolling down past that. We're not gonna choose any neutral because we're not neutral on the trade. And we're finally gonna end up here with the bearish section. So we are bearish on the stock, that's good. And then you can see we have the choice. Are we in a high IV rank situation or a low IV rank situation? And as you heard from what we talked about before, implied volatility on Google is relatively high right now. So that basically means that all of these low IV rank strategies are going to be eliminated. And what we're left with are just three different choices to choose from. We have the credit spread that we can choose from, the short.